gross. <laughs> I'm going to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Yes, it is winter. It is winter in New England and I'm done with it. I have had enough. I am over it. Oh, I moved to Vermont and winter's not that bad. I can hang with the winter. Anyway, I moved here as, you know, half of a couple and that couple no longer exists and it has been an instructive stay. Uh, I have learned things about this region. I have experienced participation in local government like I've never seen anywhere else. Uh, I am happy to have four years of my life spent in Vermont, but not five. I am moving to Puerto Rico. And uh, just today, my friend Rob, C. Rome Vault subscribers uh, will recognize Rob's name and voice, but he and I are going together. He speaks... Fluent Spanish. He uh, he used to own a restaurant in Nicaragua. <sighs> He's also itching to get out of here. He's from here, but he has spent most of his life living outside of the United States, and uh, he too has, has reached his limit. So I will be back in time to vote on Super Tuesday, but I will not be eligible to vote in November, and I don't care. <laughs> in fact, I'm happy. It is a relief. I'm opting out of the rest of this, you know, election tension. I mean, I, I say that. I'm still going to be watching Rising every day. Uh, I know I will have opinions that I will express, but I won't be voting in November. It will not be an option because I will be an official resident of Puerto Rico. Ah, what to say about this? I have been uh, watching various channels of, uh, you know, people who live in Puerto Rico and make YouTube videos. And the thing that I think about most often right now is... There are a lot of street dogs in Puerto Rico that need homes, and I am going to be the primary human for one of them. I'll probably, I mean, I'll probably have to live in San Juan at first. Uh, eventually, in answer to a question posed by Paul, yeah, I'd like to get out of San Juan. Uh, I'd like to be in a place where I absolutely have to learn Spanish, whereas in San Juan, everybody's bilingual. You don't really need, you can get by on minimal Spanish, which is what I have. But I would like to have chickens. I would like to have a garden. I would like to have a dog and a cat. I mean, <laughs> my poor cat. My 15-year-old three-legged black cat is going with me. <laughs> she's going to hate the trip. She does not like to move, but she's done it many, many times. Um, in my lifetime, I have lived in Arkansas, where I was born, Missouri, Washington State, California, back to Missouri, uh, Alaska. Uh, I'm not counting places I've lived outside the United States, but then after that, uh, oh yeah, after that, back to Washington State, uh, and then back to Arkansas. Uh, then I lived in Maryland, and then Tennessee, and New York City, and then here in Vermont, and I spent a summer in um, North Carolina, I suppose uh, as a 21-year-old, 20, 20-year-old, 20 I spent a summer in New York City and Queens. Um, but I've lived in a lot of parts of this country. I've never lived in the southeast, but I've lived in, and I've never lived in the desert south, southwest. You know, when I lived in California, I lived in San Francisco Bay Area. <sighs> but I've seen a good part of this country. Never been to Guam, though, and I've never been to Puerto Rico. Uh, are there other U.S. territories? There must be. Uh, U.S. Virgin Islands. Anyway, I'm going to go live in the U.S., but not in a state. <laughs> I'll be in a non-state section of the United States. Hopefully learning Spanish. Uh, but also, uh, this is just... I, I can't stress how much this is in the forefront of my mind. I have been craving canine company for so long, and it just, I've never been in a position where it was a realistic option. Uh, and in fact, my, my craving for canine companionship hastened to the end of my marriage, because my now ex-wife hated dogs, and my dog in particular. And um, truth be told, he is a bad dog. Lovable, but big, strong, disobedient. Happy, happy as the day is long, but uh, not a good dog. 
<sighs> so, yes, maybe this dog hasn't been born yet. Maybe, maybe he's a puppy. Maybe he, she's a couple years old. But there is a dog who is perfect for me, and I'm pretty sure that that dog is on the island of Puerto Rico, where I will be headed soon. I'll be going with my friend Rob. We are heading out in just a few days, really, just for a scouting trip. But my next ticket will be a one-way ticket. So, if you know anybody I should... If you know anybody I should know, or if you know of resources that I should avail myself of, or if you know of YouTube channels that it would be good for me to be watching, which I haven't started watching yet, please let me know in the comments below. I am not on Facebook. Um, I got kicked off of Facebook, and I am not crawling back to them. So that if there's resources there, that I cannot be, I cannot avail myself of. But if you know of other groups where either expats, expats, because it's in the U.S., you're not really, you know, expatriating, but uh, mainland expats living in, in Puerto Rico, if they gather and exchange stories and information and resources and whatnot, please hook me up. Okay. Is that it? That's probably it. Well, actually, one other thing. Today, I am working on the comic strip that was supposed to be posted this past Sunday. I am I'm in the final stages. I mean, I'm adding tones, which is the final stage, but uh, still got several hours ahead of me. Please make it worth my employer client's time to pay me to create this comic. It is part of my livelihood. It is how I will be earning my living when I am in Puerto Rico. The podcast, the comic strip, as I've mentioned, YouTube does not bring in a lot of money. So uh, geb.io or check it out on Instagram. I will put the Instagram link uh, below. The comic really, it looks better on Instagram than it does on the website that is devoted to it. Because you can, you know, the, I don't do the, this process, but we have somebody else in the office who cuts up the strip into, you know, not individual panels, but into smaller chunks that you can look at, you know, so they appear larger on the screen. It really looks better on Instagram than it does on its own website. So if you are an Instagram, you know, denizen, if you have an Instagram app on your phone that you access multiple times a day, Please, <laughs> you'd be helping me out. Add the geb.io, or I guess it's geb underscore io account to your Instagram feed and just, you know, see what's there. Even if you don't read it, just see the characters. Because the thing I like best about the strip are the characters. I like hanging out with those characters. And if you like the content of this channel, you know, the things that I'm talking about on this channel, I just talk about. It's just explicit. But all the things that I'm interested in, I'm still interested in when I'm writing the comic. It's just that they're below the surface. So, you know, take it in in a different way. You'd be helping me out. You'd be helping out my client. And you'd be helping to propagate some memes that you probably think are worth propagating if, you know, you're tuning in to these videos that I produce week after week. All righty. I gotta get back to the drawing board, which is actually a uh, Artist XP 16 inch pen display, which has been a pretty good, trusty companion this past couple of years. So I will be upgrading that, but not anytime soon, because moving is expensive. Anyway, I'm off to the island. Alexa, what is the temperature? Right now, it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 30 degrees. Alexa, what is the temperature in San Juan, Puerto Rico? Right now, in San Juan, Puerto Rico, it's 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 74 degrees. <laughs>